Hey guys and gals, Mike Cricket 113. Hope everybody's doing well and staying safe out there. Hey, uh, in recent weather, we all know, uh, I know a lot of people have been making videos about this topic, but emergency use of the radios. Uh, as If you haven't lived under a rock, uh, you've known and watched the news or seen videos uh, how ham radio has been a vital role in uh, passing communications, emergency communications, saving lives, especially in the Tennessee, uh, North Carolina area and the mountains and whatnot. <clears throat> the Tower of Power has been having 15-hour nets every single day, passing traffic uh, since uh, Helena went through there and caused mass, mass destruction. Uh, people's lives have been lost all over the country, uh, in Georgia as well, and uh, lots, of, lots of loss of property and whatnot. And amateur radio has been there and uh, troops, guys and gals have been on the ground uh, supporting aid, uh, passing traffic and information uh, <clears throat> for the residents and whatnot. So, other forms of communication. And like I mentioned before, we have FRS radios, CB radio portables, CB radio uh, mobiles, uh, ham radio and HTs, you know, HTs for ham radio. And... There is a clause in the FCC rule book, uh, and this has happened on the uh, the South Carolina or the North Carolina repeater in the mountains. Uh, in an emergency, life or death emergency, any person can get on a ham radio and and make a call for help. Uh, there have been calls for help on the South Carolina repeater uh, that I put a link to on Broadcastify. Uh, for people asking for help. And the net controller did a great job and he he handled that that traffic, that person calling in, asking for help, asking for assistance, uh, didn't degrade them, saying that they didn't have a license. You know, they did the right thing. The net controller took care of that person, got the help they need, passed the information that they wanted to pass. Um, but it's, it was a life and death situation. You have to understand that. This is different from when a lid in your area who thinks he's a ham has a little Balfang, uh, which are so easy to get. You don't need a license to buy a Balfang or any ham radio for that matter. Um, gets on and annoys people on a repeater. Uh, that's different. That is not what we're talking about. Anybody can use it. It's a life or death situation. So things to think about. But... Beyond that, for average citizens, CB radio, FRS radios, uh, GMRS radios or, or CB radios, anybody can use them anytime, uh, especially FRS radios. A GMRS license is really easy to get. You get yourself a, uh, a F FRN number on the uh, FCC website, pay $35, they give you a call sign, you're good to go. Um, it's pretty easy, but in an event of emergency like it's going on right now, we have Milton, Hurricane Milton heading for Florida. I have family and friends down in Florida, uh, in Central and on the coast, on the Gulf. And, uh, you know, if they need to listen out, you know, power is going to be out, obviously. Uh, storm surge, 10 to 15 feet is going to be going on. That's going to be horrific um, near the coastline. Uh, you know, cell phones are going to be out. So what are you going to do uh, if you're stuck there, if you decided to stay? Uh, FRS, GMRS, and CB radio is going to be the only way of communication. Ham radio, obviously, but uh, if you don't have access to that, this is what you have. Hopefully you have. Um, besides just getting out, evacuating. Today, Tuesday, October the 8th, was the first full day uh, for people to evacuate. And I heard that, that there was lots of traffic. Uh, people traveling south, southeast, say south of Miami to get away from it, or traveling north. Um, thoughts and prayers for everybody uh, in Florida. Uh, it should be, unfortunately, 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 we're on the east coast here. It's going to be hitting, uh, what do they say, uh, 2 o'clock in the morning, and you know, so it's going to be dark. That's got to be really scary. Um, so thoughts and prayers for everybody in Florida. But uh, emergency communications, 
You know, it's something that if you do have a radio, if you do have a radio, say you're non-licensed, and I know there's lots of you out there that are non-licensed amateur radio operators and have these Baofeng radios because they're cheap, 20 bucks online. Hey, don't just keep it in a drawer and use it when you think you need it. Or, you know, you could buy these and listen to frequencies, get information. There's no harm in listening. There's, it's not against the law to listen. But if you're going to transmit, know how to use your radio and what frequencies you need to uh, get help you need. If you know there's a local repeater and there's traffic on there, meaning people talking on it, and you need to call for help, fine. Call for help, but make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you know what you're doing with your radio, how to use it, how to program it, and all that kind of stuff. Manually. Make sure you know how to program it manually and use the computer or whatever. Uh, chirp would be a, a way to program these radios. I'm not saying that people should all start talking on uh, amateur radio repeaters. I'm not saying that at all. But in an emergency, life or death emergency situation, it's okay to do that. It's totally written into the FCC uh, bylaws or whatever. Uh, CB, FRS radios, totally legal to use. No big deal. CB radio. We've been using them for, for decades. So that's another form of communication to use. It's really, uh, FRS and GMRS is really popular uh, down south and uh, in the Midwest of the country and uh, pretty much all over for the most part. Not a Rubicon, he's the man. <laughs> Best GMRS uh, YouTube channel there is on YouTube. Uh, so anyway... Just uh, food for thought. Everybody stay safe. Please, please, please stay safe. Check in on your loved ones. Uh, be helpful. If you hear somebody calling for help, help them out. Get the help they need. Make a phone call for them. Whatever they need, uh, try to get them the help they need. This is Mike Cricket, 11373. Stay safe.